I do a lot of uh, searching on Realtor.com, Zillow, but when it comes to farms, it's kind of unique, or, or investment property, I guess. It, it's kind of unique in that, you know, I believe if you're going to find the right property and find a deal on that property, it's going to come by, by relationships and connections, for me anyway. Um, you know, so essentially what that means is, You've got a lot of people talking, and let's say somebody has owned a farm for, you know, 20 years, and all of a sudden they're having some thoughts about selling. You want your feelers to know those people so that you bypass the, the whole conventional listed or auction it. So most of the deals that, that I have done have happened not because they're listed, but because the connections have come to me and we've been able to, to work a deal together. You know, in the properties that I've looked at, you know, one of the things that I do first is go to the FSA office. If it's in CRP ground, I want to see what the, the soil looks like. I want to see what the current payment is on it. I want to see when it comes up for renewal so that I can determine, you know, if, it's, if there's nine more years left of the CRP payment, then I know exactly what I should expect from an income perspective. Now I'm looking at, you know, the, the idea of you know, the income is going to produce revenue. I know that I'm going to take out a note to buy it. The revenue, in, in some cases, can offset the entire payment, um, or at least offset a big portion of the interest. So essentially, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm allowing my, you know, my, my land to pay for itself. Definitely Google Earth. I look a lot at Google Earth uh, because you know, from my perspective, uh, you know, knowing what's around you is, is, is critical. I mean, knowing who owns the ground around you that you're buying is critical.